What's up, Piper friends? Welcome to Tim's School of Pipes and Classes in Session. Y'all ready for this? You remember that song? You know that song? You remember that song? They play at sporting events, at the hockey games. You know that song? You guys have to forgive me. I am a dork. My job is very serious, and I deal with people's money. Lots of money. It's very detail-oriented. And I talk on the phone a lot, and they're all very serious conversations about big amounts of money. And it's a serious job. It's a very serious job, man. It's serious business. And so, when I'm making my videos, I like to have fun, so I'm not really like this. I'm excited because the traveling box of blends is underway. If you're not familiar with the traveling box of blends, here's what I've got going on. I've got 14 blends here. I'm going to put a couple bowls full, some samples of each of these 14 in a box, and then we're going to send it around to 13 different people. If you like any of those blends, you take them and keep them for yourself and just replace them with something else. That's it. We had an awesome response to that. So I've been working out all the logistics the last few days. If you guys are in on the traveling box, I sent out a group email. Make sure you verify your mailing address for me. Make sure you read that email and just text me, call me, shoot me an email if you have any questions. It's gonna go from me to the Flat Cat Piper, to South Alabama Piper, to Griffin Pipes Lethal. Then it's going to Paladin Piper. It's going to Snap on John 100. Then it's going to the Sapper Piper. Then it's going to Smokestacks. Then 8KJ Piperman. Then Bill Keach Piper. Then Jess Piping. Then Potter Piper. Then Piper Dave. And then back to me. So this thing is going to make a journey around the country. I am going to compile a playlist of all the participants' videos. And so it will be cool to see who keeps what and what remains in the box by the time it gets back to me. I'm sure it will be completely different as I am sure every single one of these blends that I put in here will be taken by someone at some point. So it's gonna be cool what it looks like as it makes its journey around the United States. So I just wanna share with you what I am putting in here. This is gonna be the kickoff video and then it's gonna go to Flat Cap Piper and he's gonna make the first selections out of what I put in there. I've got a little bit of everything. I've got some aromatics, some vapor blends, some hybrid uh, English aromatic blends. I've got some English and I've got some Balkan. So here's what's going in here. Devil's Holiday from Dan Tobacco. This is an unopened tin from 2014. This is an aromatic. This one is still in production. Now, I'm going to put a lot of things that are no longer in production because I want you guys to try some stuff that maybe you haven't tried. Then I'm going to throw in some Drew Estate Harvest on Hudson from 2013. This is an unopened tin. It's an aromatic, no longer in production. Then I'm going to throw in some Parsons Blend Aromatic from the Country Squire. This is brand new. You can still get this. Then I'm going to throw in some Celtic Talisman from Samuel Goweth. This is an unopened tin from 2014. This one is still in production. Then I've got a couple of light aromatics. Both of these are new. I'm going to throw in some Seattle Pipe Club Gentleman Rum Vanilla. It's in production, but it's a limited run, and I think these are already gone. So I'm going to throw some of that in there. Another light aromatic, not overly goopy aromatic. This is a new tin of HU Tobacco Sunset. I'm sure you guys have heard of Hans Wiedemann. HU Tobacco is making a ton of noise in the pipe world. Now I've got a few vapor blends that aren't just straight vapors. A couple of them have Perique, some Dark Fire Kentucky, but in general, these are vapors. I've got some GLPs Stratford from 2013. I've got an unopened tin from 2014 of Suge Raijin. 
the Thunder God. This was blended by Mark Ryan. This is from 2014. This one's unopened. This one is no longer available. Then I've got some Russ Roulette Firestorm. This is from 2015, but this one is still available. I've got a hybrid, sort of one of those English aromatics. This is Cult Conspiracy. Now, Tobacco Reviews says this one's available. I don't think this one's still available. This one is not currently in production. I think Cult is currently only making Blood Red Moon. This is called Cult Conspiracy. This is from 2016. Now we've got a few English blends. This is another one from Suge. This is Fujin, the Wind God. This was blended by Mark Ryan of Daughters and Ryan. This is an unopened tin from 2014. This one is no longer in production. Then we've got Medal of Valor, an unopened tin from 2015. This is a remake of Medal of Honor. I believe Russ Roulette was the blender of this one. And this was put out by Lane Limited. Uh, no longer in production. This is from 2015. Then I've got some Dunhill Nightcap from 2012. As you guys know, Dunhill is no longer making this. Uh, this is now made by Peterson, and I'm pretty sure it's the same. I have not tried the Peterson's Nightcap because I have a stockpile of a few different years of Dunhill Nightcap. So I'm going to throw in some Dunhill Nightcap 2012. And then the last one is more of a Balkan. Um, it's more Oriental forward. This is Crown Achievement from 2014. I believe this one was also blended by Russ Roulette. This is a remake of an old blend. So that's what I'm throwing in there. 14 different blends, a little bit of everything. I'm excited to see how this goes. I think it's going to be a ton of fun. I'm going to tag everybody that's participating in this. And I am sending this box off to Raphael, the flat cap piper. So you guys look for his video and see which of these he decides to keep and what he throws in there to send on to the next person. So there you go, boys and girls. That is the traveling box of blends. This is what we're starting with. As always, guys, I appreciate you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you think of my traveling box of blends. Let me know if you've had the chance to try any of these. I know a lot of them are no longer in production and have some age on them, but about half of these are still in production. Let me know if you've tried any of these. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Just click my picture right over there. That's it for this episode of Tim School Pipes, boys and girls. Class dismissed.